Hello, everyone. We're here today with Matthew A. Rhodes, the former global creative director at Nike in Portland, Oregon. Throughout his two decades as a professional industrial designer, Matt has acquired a list of awards and honors, more than 40 patents, two different products with a combined six world records, and multiple global design awards. He's won awards such as an IDA gold medal, Newsweek product of the year for a Disney boombox design, and the Trek Y bike was named third most influential mountain bike of all time. Prior to Nike, Matt worked at various design studios such as vice president of design at Lifestyle Design, design director at Fox Racing, digital design manager at Frog Design in San Francisco, and a senior designer at Trek Bicycle. Matt, how long did you work at Nike? What was your role there? So I started at Nike in 2005 as the very first global creative director in charge of athletic training and team sports equipment. Uh, back then, it composed of 27 different product types across 15 different sport categories, 13 business units, and 13 people. You led a big team at Nike. Tell us what kind of creative talent you were looking for and how your team worked together. Why is collaboration so important and how does it work best? So of the 13 people that I've directly managed, uh, a few of those were industrial designers. Some were what Nike calls in, uh, image designers or, or uh, graphic designers, brand designers. Some of them were producers in charge of Nike's packaging. Uh, there was also design operations people keeping track of all the time and the money. And then lastly, there was the copywriter. The copywriter was the storyteller within the group. They're the ones that represented probably 80% of Nike's packaging, telling the stories across all the different categories. Uh, the collaboration piece is really key because all of these people are experts. They're all specialists in what they do and how they collaborate with each other uh, creates a really good chemistry between the whole organization. So having people with, with mutual personality types, uh, with skill sets that are very complementary, builds a really strong team. Talk about your own creative process. You have over 40 patents and lots of prestigious design awards. How do you generate ideas and take them to final product? So personally, I like to start with all new questions. You know, if you ask the same questions over and over again, you're going to get the same answers. So for me, I really like to just kind of disqualify and forget everything I already know about any given assignment or question and try and go into a new path. And so for me, I really like to focus on the potential of something. Like, I know what's new different, but how is it new better? And so really crafting what that is and, and asking all new questions is key. What is the role of research in this process? How does research take you from an opportunity to a design solution, a product ready for market? So you typically always want to start with the end in mind. So what is your expectation? Where are you ultimately trying to go with your new idea or invention? Uh, ideally, we're trying to establish a whole new expectation uh, for what the outcome is going to be. So the best conclusions or the best products that actually make it to market are the ones that start with a really great question and they end really strong at the back end with completely new consumer insights, uh, taking a look at ideas like new materials, manufacturing methods, uh, all the way down to even the use of technology and all that. We hear a lot about design thinking today. Can you give us your sense of what it is and why it's important? Well, design tools and design processes are all changing really fast. I think the, uh, if you look at what engineering and marketing does, they basically take a look at the opportunities by themselves, which to me is a push model. Designers were always focused on more of what the potential of an idea is, which is more of the pull. If you focus on the potential of an idea, inevitably that was what's going to be the easiest path for people to change their minds. Uh, designers of the future need to be able to really narrate and tell more of a story if, as to what and why something exists. You've taught at Art Center College of Design. What are the key skills or ways of thinking you want to give to young designers? Well, every college, like, like different companies out there, they're all a different brand. They all have their own core competencies, their own specialties of what they engage students into. Uh, Art Center, I always appreciated it because it always had a really strong aesthetic, really strong conceptual element, where a lot of schools, they focus on engineering and marketing. Art Center was definitely focused, again, on the potential of an idea. Uh, I really appreciated the fact that they broke down the entire process of visual communication to the narration of the story to the actual design, you know, functionality itself. Uh, it taught me so much uh, back then that I really wanted to continue and aspire to do different and greater things as I move forward. You know, last year I just finished my MBA because I really wanted to be more innovative in regards to the business world. You've also done training workshops in companies. Can you talk a little bit about that experience? 
So over the years, I've been asked to help several companies work on everything from just rewriting their mission statements to uh, design organization pieces, all the way down to even just creating and including some new perspectives on how they're doing business. Uh, a really good example of what Nike typically does is they made a declaration about 10 years ago that they no longer sell products, they sell experiences. That reframed in the whole conversation about what their brand represents and where they're going to go into the future. So one of the things that I really try to focus on is, you know, new products lead to new outcomes. So in working with companies, I'm trying to get them into a new space to where they can really have full potential. You'll be teaching a product design workshop in Beijing this summer as part of the Create Change Design Forums. Tell us what you're planning for the workshop. So in Beijing, my goal ultimately is to teach the students about different ways of understanding cultural relevancy. Uh, even in the U.S., the difference between East Coast design and West Coast design is completely different. So learning or teaching these students how they can leverage their own cultural differences throughout the world, I think, is going to be really key. Ultimately, uh, the U.S. model is to try and help the students create and understand some level of uh, disruption throughout the industry. Uh, new ideas creates new franchises, new franchises creates new business opportunities. So the goal of these students is to ultimately just introduce them to new uh, ways of looking and approaching different design techniques. What can you tell us that the participants can expect to learn, and how do you think it will help them in their careers? In Beijing, the students will be introduced to a lot of the core concepts that have made Art Center College of Design what it is. Uh, I think a lot of that's going to be a lot of the methods specifically around advanced visual communication, which ultimately connects the ideas, the sketches, the ideation with what the emotions of the consumer are all about. Uh, I think as an extension of that, a lot of things are going to be connected with like just left brain, right brain thinking, being able to not only have a really logical, rational solution, but also have a very emotional side of that that really connects to people. Last question, Matt. Where is the field of product design going? Are there new skills, new ways of thinking that are going to be important in the future? There's more potential now than there ever has been in product design. Uh, future manufacturing, computational design, as well as new material development is going to completely redesign and rethink what the future is all going to be about. It's actually a really exciting time now. Great. Thank you very much.